Today, I will be talking about my vision for the future and my anti-vision. Talking about my vision. No, today, today. Okay, so I was planning to write about healing with writing this week and I got distracted. So I was watching some videos. I watched Sarah Cannon do her planning video and then I was watching Dan Ko and I decided to go ahead and go through his step-by-step -step process. So we are planning our future and we are also planning the anti-vision for our future, which I thought was a really cool twist on it. I will be writing about neuro neurocycling soon, but I just got too excited about planning my goals. And I am literally going through Dan Coe's process step by step. If you want to know more information, please go watch his video. It's really helpful. Oh, I got this huge haul of canned goods from a raid I pulled last week, so I'm gonna open a restaurant. Okay, question one. If you had all the money in the world, what would your average day look like? I think my day would have cozy morning, probably some permaculture gardening projects and nature walks and those sorts of things. It would have food and family. Um, I would be learning. I would be writing. I would be doing some fantasy hobbies. I really want a cozy home base and some community. I would also like to have some time to travel. I think I'd go have some tea on my porch overlooking my permaculture garden, uh, probably ride outside for a couple of hours and go for a walk. Then I would probably garden for a while and make sure that I have all my healthy foods pre-made so that it's just easy to go grab some good food, take a little break, and then maybe go record a video or a podcast in my office or my in my studio. Then I'd probably wind down for a while, have a nice little bath, maybe play some board games or video games with my family, or watch some anime, and, you know, wake up and repeat. That sounds like the perfect life. All right, what kind of environment do you want to live in? Is there a specific location? And do you want to travel? I want to be in the country. I love having access to nature. I want to be near parks and have my own land with gardens and trees and wildlife. I would like to have a community also and um, be near what my family needs. I would like to have access to healthy food and whatever conveniences I need to take good care of myself. I need to be in warm weather, but not too hot because weather affects me a lot. And I'd like to be near some water, like a lake or the ocean. And I want to be able to go visit anywhere I want to. Do you want a family? What do you want that life to look like? I personally want the family that I already have. Uh, I think I want to figure out myself and my relationships and my new life in a new state. We did put our house on the market, so we're leaving. <laughs> it's crazy. I want to figure out what works for me and get to know myself and give myself time to heal. How long of a work day do you want to have? If you could do anything, what would you want to do for work? I'm gonna slow gruel, some knives, some grenades, you know, just the basics. Hmm, hmm, it's only five years old. Okay, I want to write stories and talk about stories and share my work with others. I would like to put my hands in the dirt. I want to garden and do permaculture and share it with others. 
Um, I'd like to do fun fantasy hobbies and make things and share that with others. I guess I'm a sharer, but I would like to always be learning about life, about my interests, and trying new things for fun as well. I probably want to work about six hours max, unless I get into hyperfocus, but that includes any work on my home or projects, cleaning, making food. So I'll probably write for a couple of hours, transition, garden for a while, transition, and work on recording and editing and business stuff. Then I'll have a chill evening with my family. I might alternate some of those things so I'm not doing everything every single day. Or I might have different things to do in different seasons, like with gardening. Most of the time you're not doing as much in the winter. I may go ahead and figure out how to do all that in four hours a day instead of six, and then do a couple of chores and chill. I'd like to minimize my chores so that I don't feel like I'm wasting my time. kind of feel like just kind of living like I'm retired and live a simple, easy life, um, but I still want to overcome the challenges that I choose instead of having things forced on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How do you want to look and feel? Describe your body energy levels and how you want to present yourself to the world. I want radiant health. <laughs> I want to be comfortable in my own skin. I want to have hel a healthy, natural glow. I want movement and freedom and health. My body looks strong like a dancer or a homesteader. She's strong and tribal and graceful like an animal. My energy is on point. It lasts all day long. I rest when I need to and recover quickly. I want to present as healthy and confident. I want to be able to be professional but also quirky and goofy and fun. I want to be confident and transparent. I want to be able to handle anything that comes my way, but also be vulnerable and human and relatable. I want to be empathetic. I want to be loving, but also try to be realistic. I want to have balance and wisdom in my life. I also want to be able to see the big dreams and work towards them. I want to make my own reality. All right, the next question is, what does your ideal day look like? And it says to map out every hour. I did that, but I've already covered that in this video, what my day looks like. So we'll leave it at that. Okay, next is what is my anti-vision? What is the bane of my existence? Okay, so little bit of a rant. The people in power just want to stay in power. They want to ruin the planet and keep everyone else down. And this selfish, greed-based, dystopian future is the bane of my existence. We could choose love and life. So why do we choose hate and greed and destruction and complacency and scarcity? Okay. If I had nothing, my day would be filled with difficulty trying to make sure my family has water and food and shelter. I would be constantly striving and a slave to others or to grinding through poverty. I can't work steadily because of health. I would never improve. I would deteriorate and waste away. My moods would not be tolerable. I would need to live in the cheapest, poorest way available to me, but in a place that we could make the most money and the most use of the land. So a crappy old trailer on a cheap bit of land with no payments or taxes, one old vehicle for getting to any work or swaps we can find. We'll need the best community we can muster, but People would probably be doing drugs and stealing from each other all the time. Safety would be a real issue. Travel is impossible. The family would need to stick together instead of venturing to new places or going to college. We would have to use the skills we have available to us and generate whatever business we can get. My son would probably learn to plumb because that is a skill Ryan already has, and my daughter and I would find out what the people need that is creative, like maybe 
paintings or try to grow expensive crops to sell at restaurants or something. We would all be working very odd jobs all the time to make ends meet. Can you really call it an anti-vision if you still have a job? And we'd cram into a tiny trailer with bad neighbors. We'd need a couple guard dogs and a fence. We couldn't really afford maybe a shotgun or a rifle for security and snakes. <laughs> we'd be real rednecks. I would not have time or energy to write. I would not have time for looks. I would probably wear a boring, rugged uniform. My skin and overall health would get worse and worse. Living a hard life, doing work in the sun would wear me down and make me leathery and hard. I would look like shit and I would feel the same inside and out. The next part of this was to make vision boards. So I went to Pinterest and I made a goal board for all of my wonderful dreams of what I want my future to look like. And it is cozy, let me tell you. And then I went and made a second board of my living nightmare. And it was really fun to do, actually. I think the point is you are looking towards the goals that you want in your life. And the anti-vision is to kind of warn you away scare you away maybe from the things that you don't want. Looking at that board makes me want to do my everyday little steps toward my goals so that I do not end up there. <laughs> I don't want it. It's scary. Okay, after this part, um, there is a whole section on the hierarchy of goals. So you'll want to look at what your future goals are for your mind, body, spirit, and relationships. I did all of this, but I'm not going to put it in this video because it's getting too long. And like I said before, if you would like to go get the full experience, please go watch Dan Coe's video. I've been learning so much from him. Yeah. So I had a lot of fun making these and I hope that you have fun too. It is New Year's Day. Happy New Year. But you can create these goals anytime you want to, anytime you're ready. You can create goals, kind of start changing that trajectory of your life, and basically become whoever you want to be. Good luck. Mmm. Mmm. Only five years old. I can't talk while I'm eating. <laughs> Only five. Only. I think. I think I'm done. <laughs>